Hello everyone, this is me Monali and I welcome you all in this video lesson with a very big heart. Today we are going to look at the question answer of chapter microorganisms. So let's get started. First question is, what do you understand by microorganisms? Name the different kinds of microorganisms. We can have answer like this. Microorganisms may be defined as the organisms which are too small to be seen through our naked eyes. They can only be seen with the help of a microscope. They can be divided into five major categories as fungi, bacteria, viruses, algae and protozoa. Next question is, what are vaccines? How do they help in prevention of a disease? We can have answer like this. Vaccine is special preparation from an infectious agent that is administered to humans and other animals in order to induce immunity. Let's see second part of the answer. Inside the body, the vaccine stimulates the white blood cells to produce antibodies against germs for that particular disease. Next question the list is what is difference between antigens and antibodies? An antigen is a foreign substance usually harmful that induces an immune response in white blood cells thereby stimulating the production of antibodies whereas an antibody is a glycoprotein which is produced in response to and counteract a particular antigen how are viruses different from other organisms let's see the answer Viruses are different from other organisms as they do not possess cellular structure. They are considered as an intermediate form between living and non-living because they behave as non-living outside the host body and become active only after entering into the host body cell. Next question is what are communicable diseases? Give examples. Children, communicable or infectious diseases are those diseases which can spread from an infected person to a healthy person. They are also called as transmissible diseases. These diseases are caused by germs. Some examples of such communicable diseases are cholera, jaundice, tuberculosis, diarrhea, chicken pox, etc. Another question the list is, in how many shapes do bacteria exist? Name them. Bacteria can be found in the following five different shapes. Rod shaped, which is called as bacilli. Spherical shaped, called as cocci, spiral shaped, called as perilla, and comma shaped, called as vibrio. Another question in the list is list any five types of microorganisms, uses of five microorganisms. We can have answer like this. Lactobacillus acidophilus bacterium is used in making curd from milk. Acetobacter bacterium is used to make vinegar, wine, fruit juices. Yeast, which is a kind of fungus, is used to set dough to make food items like breads and pizza bases. Diatoms, another kind of algae, are used to make crockery and other building materials. 
Rhizobium bacteria which is found in the root nodules of leguminous plants help in fixing atmospheric nitrogen. So these are five uses of microorganisms. Another question in the list is define pasteurization. Where is it used? Pasteurization is a food preservation technique which involves heating of milk at very high temperature and then cooling it rapidly to low temperature in order to prevent growth of microorganisms. This technique is used in dairy industry to preserve milk. Next question is viruses are considered to be on the borderline of living and non-living. Justify. We can write like this. Viruses are technically non-living when outside the host body they have no ability to replicate, grow or undertake any metabolic activities. However, they possess genetic material and start reproducing on entering inside the host body cell. They are therefore considered as on the borderline of living and non-living. Next question is, name any two diseases caused by microbes in plants, animals and humans age. First of all, we will see diseases caused by microorganisms in plants. Citrus canker is a plant disease which is caused by bacterium. Tobacco mosaic is another plant disease which is caused by viruses. In animals, we can have rabies which is caused by viruses. Another animal disease is render paste, again caused by viruses. Examples of diseases in human beings, cholera caused by bacteria, malaria caused by protozoa. Next question is to describe different methods of food preservation. So children for this answer you can go through the previous video link is shared here and it will be there in the description box also. Let's see another very important question of this chapter. Microbes are both bane and boon. Justify the statement with examples. We can write like this. Microorganisms or microbes, the minute living creatures, invisible to the naked human eye, are considered both as bane and boon because of the following reasons. They are boon as some of them are very helpful in beverage industries like Acetobacter and yeast in nitrogen fixation. Rhizobium bacteria is involved in this. In curdling of milk, lactobacillus helps in this process. In sewage treatment, methanogens and so on. But at the same time they are being also as some of them cause diseases not only in plants such as citrus, canker, loose, smut etc. But also in animals such as rabies, anthrax and even in humans such as cholera, typhoid etc. Next question is name the microbial diseases, their causative agents and mode of transmission in animals, plants and humans. If you can remember we have already done this in one of our videos. So you can go through that video. Link will be given in the description box. Next question the list is why is bread soft and has pores? explain in detail. When yeast is added to the dough of bread, it ferments the sugar 
and produces carbon dioxide which fills in the dough and increases its volume making it to rise when the dough is baked further the gas bubbles burst resulting in the small pores inside the bread and making the bread soft and fluffy next question is microbes help in cleaning the environment and maintaining nitrogen balance in nature explain let's see answer microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi serve as decomposers and act on the dead bodies of plants and animals and of course on their excreta converting them all into simple substances such as mineral salts carbon dioxide and water which will be later on utilized by the plants for their growth by carrying out this decomposition these decomposers prevent the dead plants dead animals and animal wastes from piling up and helps in cleaning the environment further there are some microorganisms such as pseudomonas example of denitrifying bacteria present in the soil which break down the soil nitrates to release nitrogen gas which enters into the atmosphere and thus plays very important role in maintaining the nitrogen balance in the nature the very last question in this video lesson is describe the different kinds of microorganisms with examples we can summarize the answer like this microorganisms can be categorized into five groups as bacteria algae protozoa fungi and viruses bacteria are unicellular microorganisms and most of them are heterotrophic in nature some can be saprophytic or parasitic also as we have seen earlier they can be found in different shapes such as bacilli which are rod shaped cocci spherical shaped spirilla spiral shaped and vibrio comma shaped bacteria few examples are lactobacillus rhizobium etc algae may be unicellular or multicellular they are autotrophic as all of them contain chlorophyll on the basis of the pigments found in the cells they can be classified into different groups as green algae blue algae red algae brown algae blue green algae few examples are volvox spirogyra diatoms let's see about protozoa protozoa are unicellular microorganisms that have some animal like characteristics they are mostly aquatic but can also be found in soil and in the bodies of other organisms as parasites we can have some examples like this euglena giardia amoeba etc fungus fungi are plant like in that they have a cell wall however unlike plants they lack chlorophyll so they are heterotrophic and can be multicellular or unicellular as decomposers they are good for the soil and for cleaning up the environment examples are yeast rhizopus penicillium etc another category of microorganism is for viruses viruses are ultra microscopic structures which are considered on the borderline of living and non living they are acellular which means the body has no cellular substances or nucleus instead they consist of a nuclear material coated with a protein they are parasites and reproduce only within the cells of host organisms different viruses are rhinoviruses 
rabies virus, coronavirus, etc. That is all that I have for you in this lesson. Keep learning children because today's hard work is going to give you fruits later. God bless. Bye-bye.